this is the Sawbrush channel and this video is going to be how to replace a ABS module using a module from BBA Reman. The symptom in this car is all the lights are on on the dash and when the car is being driven the speedometer does not work. So all these lights remain illuminated. In my intuition this typically points to the ABS module but keep in mind there can be other issues such as uh, ABS wheel speed sensors. Just because this is the issue with this car doesn't mean that the module will fix the issue with your car. But in my experience, it's a pretty common connection. So the ABS module, if you're unfamiliar, is located um, right here. And it is pretty simple. It's about six screws that you have to remove. I've already removed a couple of them. Uh, I first disconnected the battery. You're going to want a really thin Torx tool. It's a T20. This uh, Torx bit was actually too thick to get in there, so I'd recommend using a, as soon as I find them, a uh, little Allen key, just because it's thin enough to, to get in the recess. The first screw is up top. You have another one tucked back over here. And there's a third along this side at the very bottom, which may be difficult to show you guys, but it's just below my finger there. And an identical set along the other side. Now, I've already removed these top ones, but the first thing that you do is disconnect this big um, cable going into the module. It's got a pull tab right here. You just kind of wiggle on it. and get that up and out of the way. Now the next thing that I do is remove this, um, or at least free this power steering reservoir, and it's held in by a clamp like this. It just wraps around the reservoir, and it's just one 10 millimeter screw. Undo that, and that gives you all kinds of play with your reservoir as you're getting your tools down in here. So, I'm just gonna go and Continue removing these screws, working on the middle guy. Sorry, I got about halfway through this and then decided, you know what, I should probably film it in case you want to see. Now here's a little tip. If your screws are on there really tight, what you can do is slide a, an open-ended wrench around the smaller end of your Allen wrench, just to kind of give you some extra leverage. And then once you have it cracked loose, you can just kind of painstakingly and loosen these things. Obviously the top screws are the easiest there, um, but the bottom ones are a little tricky, especially on the left side. Uh, for the right side, you can lift this power steering reservoir out of the way and attack it with your tool from head on. The left one's a little tricky because you have this engine coolant hose in the way. So I'm going to end up just sticking with the Allen wrench, going slow and steady. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Here we go. Yes, we got a T20. Maybe this will work. Smarter, not harder, right? Aha. I have to remember this tool for next time. Alright, once you get all the screws out, it is time to remove these puppy. Should just pull straight out. Looks like it's hitting right on this hose here. There we go. Next is to remove this plug right here. It's just held in with a little pinch tab. So I'll just take a flathead screwdriver and pinch that guy off. Okay, it's not my favorite way to end a video, but I'm going to go ahead and take the easy way out and say that install is the opposite of reverse. Now I have to do it on this car, but I have to do it on that one over there as well. So I've got some work ahead of me, but hey, at least I'm doing it in the official Saab swag. So I hope that video helped you guys if this is indeed a problem. And thank you guys for watching.